to the sieve. Over that way a little further. That's it. A little further. Morning, Dad. That's the stage manager. Say, Boots, get laundry? through with that thing and oh. see. Yeah, I've got other acts to rehearse. That's right, hold it there. Who are you? Well, we're Holly and Burke, the Terpscorians of Jazz. Oh, I see, Hoofers. Where's the dressing room? I'm in down the cellar for you. Any heaters down there? My life's a song, Don't worry, dear. we'll make it warm Cause enough around I'm here for you. I've Good always morning. dreamed of laundry? meeting no. someone like I'm you. I'm Lily Lark, the golden voice of Brown. No one can tell me now that Where dreams don't manager? come true. Over there. Tie it off there. That's I'm it. glad I've waited for you Fine. can see. Good morning. How oh, well oh, we're oh. made. I'm Lily Lark, the golden voice of Brown. Oh, Miss Lark, we have a very nice question for you. Room three there. When will I go on? Don't worry, sister. Next to closing. Good morning. Good morning. Got any laundry? No. Where are Barton and Barnes? There's the stage manager over there. Barton and Barnes. Oh, dressing room four. Oh, but we uh, must two have dressing a... rooms, please. Oh, you song and dance teams ought to be married. Well, I'll give you a two and four. Oh, thanks, sir. Just a minute. Better go upstairs and take four and five, because I gave number two to the great Roderick. Roderick? Sure. Is he on the bill? Sure. Well, if he is, and we won't... Come on. We won't play on the bill if that rat is here, making a play for you the way he has for two months now. Oh, Darling, you know I love you. Why, if we quit this bill, it'll be that much less money we'll have for getting married. All right, we'll play it. But if he puts <laughs> if he puts his hands on you again, I'll get him if it's the last thing I oh. do. You've got a smile that fascinates me. A certain something in your eyes. You got a style that captivates me. I love you, so I'll tell you why. Yes, tell me why. You're such a bashful baby. You're cute as you can be. Bashful baby. You're just the type for me. Am I? I'm in love with you. Don't kid me. Say you love me. I didn't do it. He was lying there when I came in. Ah, uh, where'd you get that gun? Why, I... I get up off the floor there. Ah, uh, gee, the show. You two boys. Well, we're not ready to get up off the floor. Why did you do it? Well, what is it? What's going on here? Here, officer, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Well, who did it? Well, I heard a shot. I saw this boy coming out of the room with that gun in his hand. Officer, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. As I was saying, the state has proved beyond a doubt that the defendant was insanely jealous of the young woman associated with him in his vaudeville act. Just what their relationship was is no concern of ours. You can't get away with that. Quiet. Bobby, Bobby. Quiet. But it is a well-known fact 
that on more than one occasion, the defendant has publicly resented the attentions of the murdered man to this young woman. You're that dirty rat out. No, no. Bobby, Bobby. You're hurting your own case. Control yourself. We have also established the fact that on the day of the murder, the defendant, in the presence of a number of the stage crew, was heard to say, if he ever puts his hands on her again, I'll get him if it's the last thing I ever do. And later on, that same day, the defendant slipped into the dressing room of the deceased and in cold blood killed his victim. He was undoubtedly incited to this rash act by the possibility of the young woman resuming her, uh, well, uh, shall we say, resuming her former relations That's with the lie. murdered That's man. That's a lie! That's a lie! Take your seat! Observe the decorum of this court! Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, has not the defendant, by his recent outburst, proven himself a person of ungovernable temper? Now do you doubt for one moment he is an unmanageable person with murder in his heart? Your Honor, the state rests its case. Yes. I ask you to remember that while the evidence against the defendant can be called, as the defense calls it, circumstantial, it is circumstantial only in one point, that no one saw the actual killing. A possible motive has been clearly established, a motive which the defense has not seen fit to deny. <clears throat> now, your responsibility is not to consider any state of mind of the defendant which might cause him to feel any justification for the crime. On the other hand, do not let yourselves be swayed by prejudice. Consider only the law and the evidence. Consider only whether or not the defendant is guilty of the charge of murder. The jury will now retire and prepare a just and true verdict. <laughs> Well, everything seems to be in order. It seems good to get where you can stretch your legs. Certainly does. Well, this is the jury room. Yes, this is the jury room. Well, folks, make yourself at home. I don't think we'll be here very long. Now I take it. Yeah. You know, I'm not a very strong woman anyway. And sitting in that straight back chair all these days has just about killed me. You know, I've had four operations already. Yes, yes. I have a thorough knowledge of each and every one of your incisions. <laughs> as soon as I get out of here, I'm going right back on my diet. Well, they can't fix this thing up too soon for me. I must get home to... The well, folks, as I've been chosen foreman of this jury, I think I'd better get things started. Now, please gather around the table and we'll take the ballot. Mm -hmm. Sue Pine, pencils and paper opposite each chair. Mm -hmm. Now, write down your verdict according to the honest opinions you have formed. Guilty or not guilty. I beg your pardon, lady, but you spell guilty with two L's, don't you? Why, of course, anybody knows that. No, no. Huh? G-U-I-L-T-Y. Oh. Come on. Put your vote in the hat. Just put it in the hat, please. Pass it down. Put your vote in the hat. It's just like all the others. Yeah. Well, it won't be long now. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Sure. There we are. We well, we'll soon know the answer. Guilty? 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 They're all of the same opinion. Guilty? Guilty? Not guilty. 
guilty. Eleven for conviction and one for acquittal. I suppose some sentimental woman wrote that. Well, if you meant that for me, I didn't write it. I know he's guilty. It wasn't me either. Nor me either. Well, then who was it? Just which one of you gentlemen think this bird isn't guilty? Well, I don't think he was guilty. You oh, you don't, eh? No. Uh, no, sir. No, uh, sir. You understood the evidence, didn't you? Sure. Well, then for Pete's sake, didn't that young so-and-so threaten he'd get the other fellow if it was the last act of his life? Yeah. Didn't a bunch of the stagehands hear him make the threat? And didn't you hear the defendant admit they all boarded to the same house and that they found the young man in the girl's room? I, I didn't understand what you said, if you please. I say, didn't you hear the defendant admit they all boarded at the same house and that he found the young man in the girl's room? I'm sorry, but it was too fast. You speak too fast. I didn't understand you. Didn't you hear the defendant admit they all boarded at the same house and that he found the young man in the girl's room? Oh, yeah. And didn't he say that he saw his girl in the other fellow's arms? Well... Didn't he? Yeah. Say, listen, don't you know that a man will do most anything to keep the woman he loves all for himself? Oh, he don't know what it's all about. Didn't they find him in the other man's dressing room with a gun in his hand? Yeah. Well, now, are you still crazy enough to think he didn't do it? Yeah. Oh. What? Well, well, well there, there wasn't nobody saw him shoot him. What did you say? I said there wasn't nobody was in the theater when or in the dressing room when he got shot. There wasn't nobody saw him shoot him. Oh, so nobody saw him shoot him, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody saw him shoot him. Can you beat that? Just a minute. Say, do you expect a murderer to telephone the police to send up the homicide squad to umpire the killing? Well, I don't know if us is that homicide squad, but you got it mixed up a little bit. The umpire is for the baseball game. No, no. I mean, is it necessary for the police to come up and see the killing? Well, of course. They don't have to. They don't want to. Oh, I <laughs> give up. And then, say, for the love of Mike, what do we do with a mule? Listen to reason. Well, how can one stubborn man keep us here like this? I want to get home. Well, I don't think he was guilty. Oh, you don't, eh? Well, what more do you want? Well, I, I can't help to convict the man just because it was on circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial nothing. Come on, now. Cut out all this chicken-hearted business. You know he's guilty. I don't think he killed him. And, and I hate to think of anybody was going to be hung, hanged, uh, especially when, when it was it was so near Christmas. Oh. Well, of course, that's a beautiful thought, you know, but I must get home. Well, that's, that's all right with me, too. I'm, I'm satisfied to scram. <laughs> well... But Say, use your head something else beside the hat rack. And didn't the evidence and prove conclusively that he was guilty? Now look here, you. You've got to line up with us. Come on, snap into it. We all know he's guilty. And you don't want to keep up. Just a stubborn Dutchman, that's all. Made up his mind. Nice of you. They're higher than stage, aren't they? Of course not. Who dealt this? I did. Mm -hmm. Come on. I pass. Well, I did three spades. Pass. 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 Not bad, partner, but not good. Of course, I don't want to brag, but that 18-day diet from Hollywood simply did nothing for me at all but give me acidosis. So it seems. 
and yeah, cream yeah. cheese and pineapple business made me positively fat. Yeah. But I've worked out a diet for myself that's the most marvelous thing I have ever tried. Please, lady, let me keep my mind on the game. Now, what orders? See that? Seems like luck's with me, doesn't it? I hope so. Another one. You're bad Try enough that. alone. He does yeah. not even I have a play card. Don't you think that a little singing like we had before dinner might help to brighten us up a bit? It might. Fine, it takes me back to the old fire department days. Do you gentlemen remember in the shade of the old apple tree? Oh, do I know it? Sure, give us the key. In the shade of the old apple tree They're off again Where the light in your eyes I can see Oh, no, 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 I say, old chap You see, there at the end of that first line You want to drop down Say, look here, I'm down as low as I can get now Waiting around here for that Dutchman to get some sense in him We all feel the same way but come on, now, let's let's go on from there. Try it over. When the voice that I heard, like the song of a bird, seemed to whisper, say, say, for heaven's sake, stop that singing, and cut out our playing too. We're here for a definite purpose. Now come on, let's get back to business. Yes, sir, let's get out of here. Well, are you ready to be sensible? We've laid off of you for an hour now. Thank you. You know, 11 of us have voted guilty 20 times. Yeah, I know that. I was here. Well, hasn't that any effect on you? Doesn't that convince you that you're wrong? I don't think he could them. Oh. I think it's simply outrageous for you to keep us here like this. I never saw such a obstinate man. Well. A boy's life is worth more than our time. What can you expect from a foreigner? Say, young fella, what are you doing? You're not hanging up juries. I don't hang no jury. Just I don't want to hang them. nobody. No, no, I mean, what do you work at? Oh, well, I was, I was for the circus. Well, that's it. I thought circuses was always traveling around, going someplace, doing things. Well, they is, but don't you see, circuses now, we are in winter quarter. Uh, well, what do you do with the circus? Oh, I was, I was a clown. You a clown? <laughs> you a, cl a clown? Yeah. And a <laughs> Say, folks, the mule has turned out to be a clown. <laughs> no, no. I, I was not a mule. Oh, he, he says he, he he says he's not a mule. No, no, but but I work with a mule though, and the circus. Well, if you're a clown, maybe you could do something to kind of cheer us up. Yes, come on, do sure, something. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, do yeah, start clowning. Oh, no, it would be silly for me to do something here. No, no. it wouldn't be silly. No, no, I, no. Yeah. I don't want to take I it. Go on. Come on, come on. Well, a little... Anything at all. A little circus trick one. It's kind of... don't mount too much, but... Let's see you do it anyway. Let's see you do it. Yeah. I'm a handstand. And there you is, you <laughs> sir. <laughs> 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 Look at that clown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> An old gag, but it always goes. It's an old Well, old funny face can do something after all. Say, that's the first laugh I've had since I've been in here. Did you get a little kick out of it? Yeah, sure. Well, maybe you could do another little trick for us. Oh, no, no more. Oh, yeah. Well, here's a little one. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Better get out of that, I am. And I like to do silly things just to make people laugh. You know, there was an old saying, but everybody know it. I remember it so well. It goes, uh, laugh and the world is also laughing. Weep and and there's uh, nobody weeping with you. <laughs> <laughs> so so that, that, that's a good one, and that, that's right, too. I like to see everybody laugh, you know? And now, don't you think you people would always be happier? Don't you think if you, when you go out of here, and you go out, you know that you was not responsible for hanging a man? You know, I know everything looks black for that boy now. He's not the kind of a man that would sneak into a room and shoot a person. Say, this poor boob is actually trying to change our minds. Well, uh, why, why don't you try to see my side of this business? You know, you know, folks, he's only a little boy. And if you hang him, it wouldn't do nobody some good. Then a message from the court. If you have not arrived at a verdict in 10 minutes, you are to be locked up for the night. We're not going to be locked up in here. No, they sent us to a hotel. I can't leave this food another day. And I'm not strong enough to stand anymore. You're right. This is all ridiculous. Now look here, you. You come across and agree with us and do it quick. Please, I really can't stand this. I'm getting disgusted with you myself. Wait, can't you see that we're all fed up with you? Are you ready to vote guilty? No. Oh, Please, no, I have got to go on my shoe. You ever had to keep us in here all night? I know. Stop that pounding! It's getting on my nerves! All right, all right. You're not the only one in here that's jumpy. For heaven's sake, give your jaws a rest. Ah, oh, don't pop off. This gum is the only snappy thing in here. Christmas. And my poor baby's at home waiting for their mother. And here I am, shut up like a prisoner, all on account of that man who hasn't any heart. Mm -hmm. Cut out that snoring. What the hell? I want to sleep. What's the matter with you, anyway? Well, what are you going to do? Do? About what? About this verdict. Don't you know it's only three days till Christmas, and I haven't even bought a tree for my children or their presents or anything? Oh, I'm sorry about the little kitties. But I, I can't vote to hang a boy just because you ain't done your Christmas shopping. I tell you, I can't stand another day of this. I'll go crazy. We'll all be with you if we stay locked up in this room much longer. Please, Mrs. Borden, don't excite yourself so. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. All I can think of is my poor children crying their little hearts out. I can't stand it. I can't oh, stand I it any longer. you won't be satisfied until you've please, driven please, this woman. Oh, lady, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you cry. Look, I do something to make you laugh. Here's a little trick. You look here. You see? Here's a card. And there's gone. And there is it. You see? Now look, once more. It's, it's gone. And here's the card. What's a phone doing in the jury room anyway? You're just a low-brow comic with your brains in your feet. Eleven sensible people kept here day after day by a jackass that ain't got sense enough to change his mind. I'm not a jackass. Oh, shut up. Why don't you think it over? It ain't what I think. It ain't what anybody thinks. It's, it's just what's right. That's all. And if you don't vote right, in five minutes I'm going to suck you on that homely mug of yours. I've stood all I'm going to from you. But you act like a human being, you thick-headed lug. Oh, I, I, want to, I want to get out of here, but... But I know that boy didn't shoot that man. How do you know he didn't shoot him? Well, there was... there was nobody saw him shoot him. You can keep on saying that from now until next Christmas, but it won't change the case. The boy threatened the other fellow. He was crazy jealous over the girl. The man was found dead, and the boy in the room with the gun in his hand. What more can any sane man want to know? Oh, why waste your breath on that clown? Now, you listen to me. We're going to take one more ballot. And you vote with us. And you do it quick. You. Now, wait a minute. Now, you come through, you little four-flusher. Oh, please, please. 
Please let me go home. Don't keep me here another day. I want my babies. They're crying for me, I know. Please, won't you let me go back to them? Won't you? Don't cry, lady. Please, don't cry. I don't want you to cry. I don't want to make anybody cry. I, I want everybody to be happy. I want to see it, you over. I know, but I understand. But I know that boy is innocent. Oh, and nothing is going to change my mind about that. You hear me? Nothing is going to change my mind about that. Oh, my God. Steady, lady. Steady. Get me a glass of water. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry, lady. You, you're responsible for all this. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be out of here. Oh, yes, Isn't this well, I suppose you're oh, satisfied oh, now. This contemptible oh, my baby. Please. I do want to go home. You'll soon be out of here. I'm not going to be responsible for this lady's health. We've been in here five days now, and this is the finish. What are you going to do? I'm going to send word to the court that we can't agree. We're going home. Thank goodness. Hey, listen, we have to agree on a verdict, don't we? No. If we can't reach a decision, we'll let the next jury hang. Come on, folks. Let's go. Yes, let's get out of here. Come on. Don't do that. For God's sake, don't do that. You've got to listen to me. Let me tell you. There's only one thing you could tell me, and that's guilty. I know, but, but it's all on circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence is good enough for me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Now, let me tell you a little story, please. We've I... been here five days, and now you want to tell me a story. Get away from me. Oh, please, Mr. Go on, Foreman. get away from me. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, I'm going to be here. No, I don't Please, lady, no, I want to be here. Oh, please. Oh, Mr. Foreman, oh, please, sorry. let me tell you something about circumstantial evidence. Oh, go to the devil. Come on, folks, we're going. Wait, wait. You've got to listen to me. Now, let me tell you a little something. Let me tell you a little story once, will you please? If you will just listen, and after I've got all finished, of you still think that I am that boy out there, he's guilty? Of you still believe he's guilty? Then, then I'll, I'll vote guilty with you. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Wait, wait. You say that if we listen to your story, you'll vote guilty? Ja. All right. Come on, folks. A few minutes more won't matter. All right. Go ahead. Now, come on, clown. Go Snap ahead. into it. Shoot and it better be good. Thank you. <laughs> well, of course, folks, I was only in this country six years, so I don't, and I might get mixed up a little. My English ain't so good. I know that. Yeah, we know all about that. We've been listening to it for five days. Go ahead with the story. Well, I told you people. Hey. What's the big idea, cutting your act short with a house full of kids? Oh, I'm sorry about the kids, but I got an engagement. Engagement? <laughs> Since when have you been stepping out with the ladies? Oh, well, it's, it's not the lady. You, you remember Carl that used to work with me was my partner? Yeah, what's he got to do with it? Well, do you remember... When he was killed, he left a little daughter. You remember then? Yeah. Cute kid she was. Yeah. About 14, wasn't she? Yeah. Whatever became of her? Oh, well, I've been trying to take care of her ever since. No. Yeah. Well, I'll... <laughs> I sent her to the school, you know, one of those schools that was in the convent. I sent her there. <laughs> you sentimental old fool, you. Well, Bill... Somebody had to take care of her. And you've been looking after her all this time on your pay? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Bill, and she's coming today. She's coming here. Her school is having a vacation, and she's coming home to see us. Oh, maybe she's here now. I, I better run. i see you later, huh? Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you. Bye. Watch him. Glad to see you. Uh-oh, he has the bad news here. How much is it? Three dollars and twenty cents, Father. I, I think I better pay him before he starts crying. No, no, now it's got money someplace. If it can only find it. Oh, he has the pocket up here. <laughs> yes, I can find the pocket too, you see? Now, you see? <laughs> now we have to come out money. There you are, there's one, two, three. Now let's see how much change we got here. 20 cents. Just right. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got you and you at home. And my little pumpkin. <laughs> you know, I love the very smell of a circus. Yeah? <laughs> well, if you love the smell of the circus, you're certainly going to have lots to love around this one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah? Have you got a needle and some strong thread? Sure, I think so. Why, what's happened? The Siamese twins had a row, and I got to sew them together again. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I told those two darn kids not to get married. There you is. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Did you get that? Not the good one? What's the matter? Aren't they real? Sure they was real. But they wasn't real in Siamese, huh? You see, she was a bareback rider but fell off the horse and had an ankle, you see? And he was a, a lion tamer. But he got scared of the lion, so they teamed up and became Siamese. <laughs> The only thing that was twins about them was the clothes they was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> now you cut it down. That's a good one, my little pumpkin. <laughs> now I want to hear everything that you have got to tell me. Everything. I want to know what's happened. Come on over here and sit down. Well, nothing's happened. It's the same thing day after day. School's awfully dull and stupid. And I'm not going back. Oh, you're not going back to school? No. <laughs> oh, you little foolish. You're being ridiculous. Of course you're going back to school. You have to go. Learn how to be a nice, fine lady. But, Bethy, I don't want to be a lady. No? No. I want to stay here with you in the circus and have fun and learn to earn my own and help you out. <laughs> you don't have to help me out. I know what you want to do. Get you with the taxes, honey. Put the hell in the bill. Hey, Nancy, will you please stop jumping on this? How you think I'm going to tighten this up? I got work to do here. You don't have to work. I know a good movie that's open in the morning. Oh, yeah, sure, you always do. Don't you think I got something else to do besides take you to movies? Yes. Yes, of course. I have to learn new tricks, you see, so I can make the people laugh. <laughs> oh, it's no laughing matter, just the same. See, there, I caught you. Now stop it. I don't want to speak to you twice more. Once is too much. Now don't do it some more. <laughs> don't now. You're going to stop it. You are the bitch. You know what I'm going to do to you? You bear little, I'm going to put you in a big cage with a hippopotamus. <laughs> Such impotence from a little girl like you is going to get you a good spanking. 
anything. That's what I'm going to do to you. I know you. I know. I, you want to jump, huh? You want to jump. You want to jump. You want to you want to jump, I'll jump you first, you want to jump to the jump. You want to jump, I'll jump you. 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 i no, no. Oh, oh baby. Honey. Nancy, my little girl, you wasn't hurt. You was just scared. Please wake up. See, you was all right. Did I faint? Gee, I was scared for a minute. <laughs> well, anyway, you didn't catch me, so you can't spank me now. No. No, and maybe it would be better if I don't ever spank you no more. You know, you're getting to be a very be care. I think you're right. You know, I'm getting near to 18 every day. 18. My little Nancy, 18. Hmm. Maybe it would be better if I don't ever kiss you no more, too. Aw, why shouldn't you? Aren't you my daddy? Gee, I'm so happy to be back here again. I'm having more darn fun, and I've met more nice people. If the girls at school could see me, they'd just die of envy. And I'm so happy to be back here with my old daddy, Bethy. Say, see here, young lady. Where you get that old... How old you think your old daddy, Beppo, was? Hmm? Oh, about 40. Forty? Ah, oh, you was fooling. Oh, I didn't you... mean forty. It's a good thing you didn't. Maybe forty-five. Or fifty. Or fifty-five. Or sixty. Or sixty-five. Or seventy. Or seventy-five. Or eighty. Or eighty-five. Or ninety. Or
closer, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to introduce to you the famous Kashmiri sisters. They are the finest dancers that ever came here from far away. They are going to do for you their dance of death, the same that they did for Abul, the son of two dogs. All right, girls, let's go. Watch them closely, folks. Watch them closely. All right, girls, that's an off square. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the night.
Where are you going to have dinner? Well, at the cook then. Where do you think? Well, I got a great idea. Why not let me take you both to dinner? We'll have a swell feed and a regular lesson. Yeah. No. Why should we? I don't want to. We can eat in the cook then. Where oh, we are we? Oh, we always eat in that old cook tent. Oh, sure. Let's step out tonight. Do you, do you really want to go? Of course I want to go. Well, Pumpkin, if you really want to go. Great. I'll meet you outside the dressing room tent in a half an hour. Well, I'll be ready. Okay. Come on, funny face. Take the makeup off and let's go. We'll have a great time tonight. Well, I, I don't Come think on. I'd better. No, I'd better not go for butter. Maybe have plenty of time. I've been looking for somebody just for Haven't you got a booth? Uh, booth all taken, sir. What's the matter with this? Isn't this a booth? Oh, this booth, uh, we save them for our customer. Well, listen, aren't we customers? Riley, let's sit here. It doesn't make no difference. Be all right. No, all right. no, no, nothing doing. When you're with me, you're going to get the best in the house. Come on, Nancy. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, this is taken for a customer. Apple uh, no, sauce. No, 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 no. Uh, Apple never... sauce. Uh, don't say it. And don't And the music. Huh? Understand? Yeah, yeah. I take apple sauce too. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't pay any attention to these ching chop suey merchants. I was afraid at first he was mad at me. No, he always looks like that. Well, what are we gonna have? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Never mind the bill affair. I know all about these chink dishes. You just tell me what you want. Oh, I don't know anything except just regular chop suey. Oh, nothing doing on that cheap stuff. Hey, Charlie, come here. We want two special chicken chow mein with all white meat. See? Catch him? Well, what are you waiting for? We want some service. Why the gentleman have... Oh, yeah. Herman, what are you going to have? Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I could get a little green uh, schnitzel and some sauerkraut. <laughs> no, I've got them. I've got them Chinese dish on leash. Oh, only got Chinese. Well, I don't can read Chinese. I don't know what it's got to say here. All right, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll read them off. Chicken sub gum chop suey, chicken gin pin chop suey, Lee Hung Chang yeah, chop suey, shrimp war main sub gum, egg for young, ham egg for young. Oh, that's it. Pork that's white. what I want. Bring me that with the eggs turned over. That would be all right. I no understand. I want I want the eggs flipped over. You see, turned over, flip of flower. You see, from this side to this side on the back with the eggs. Ham and eggs. Never mind the fooey. All right, all right. <laughs> Tea for everybody? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hurry up, Joe. Hurry up, Charlie, quick. He's stupid. You know, you know, those foreigners are all like that, it seems. Well, isn't this better than eating in that old cook tent? Of course it is. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm glad. So nice and cozy. Yeah. It's nice, you know. I like that music. That was good. They play very good. Oh, you think that's good? Well, wait. I'll get them to play something hot. Excuse me. Well, say, buddy, uh, can't you play something a little lift to it? You know what I mean. Get something hot. You know, one of those old blue numbers. The St. Louis Blues. Aren't you the fellow who sings on the midway at the circus? Yeah. Let's give them a treat. You sing and we'll play for them. Okay, get set. I'll be right back. They've recognized me and they want me to sing a little song. Do you mind? Mind? I'd love it. Fine. Mr. Wally. Yeah? 
will you sing that same song? Remember the song you sang to me, Somebody Like You? Will I sing it? And how? <laughs> oh, say, fellas, instead of that number I asked you about, uh, the little lady uh, wants me to sing Somebody Like You. Do you know it? Sure. Start singing. All right, give me a chord. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, I've been requested to sing a little song. Sweet morning, I get a glimpse of a heaven Whenever I gaze into your eyes To be in love with you is heaven What's the matter, old darling? There was not much the matter. I just, I hear that song five times every day, that's all. Well, I have All my life I've been looking for somebody just like you. I never thought, dear, that I could Look find somebody just like you. That my dream of love <laughs> has come to That was a good one, huh? Now I can beat my troubles at you. Be you put the cigarette in here. Leave me. All of my life I've been looking for somebody just like you. Get out, All of my life I've been looking for somebody just like you. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? thought, dear, that I could find someone, a pal so true. One little word will bring happiness. One little word, oh, won't you say yes? Oh. All of my life I've been looking for somebody just like you. See, it sounds pretty good with an orchestra, don't it? Lovely. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, look. Now we're going to tell you fortune. Fortune? Yes, sir. Now watch me. Just watch me closely. You'll never go wrong. Within lies the innermost secrets of your life. See what the future has in store for you. Go on, read it. The man you are thinking of admires you very much. Aha, you're in love. No, I'm not. What's your fortune? <laughs> I'm afraid to read it. Go on, I want to see what it says. All right, then. Boy, oh, here, you read it. Your personality will eventually bring you great success. <laughs> well, it hasn't done much for me so far. Plenty of you got a midway. You oughtn't to say that. I'm sure you're going to be very successful. Why? Do you really think I'm nice? Why? Yes. You ought to go on the stage. I'm sure you'd make a great... Well, 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 here it is at last. Well, there you are, girlie. See if that isn't the best dish you've tasted in a long time. Hey, what's the idea? Didn't I order ham and eggs? Ham, egg for young. Yeah, sure, but this is all for it. There's no ham and eggs. Come here, you know. Ham, egg. You want ham, egg for young turnover? I turn over. Come here, this is just so that you sound here at home, isn't it? Come. Oh boy. Well, what do you think of it, girlie? I think it's pretty swell. Oh, it's great. Oh, boy. That's just place I'm going to eat joints. Mm -hmm. mm. 
then, after a while, I got this job on the Midway. Oh, I guess it was just one of those bad breaks, that's all. You know how it is, Herman. What? Oh, uh, they, <laughs> they, what time is it getting to be here? Oh, it's only 7.30. We got a lot of time. 7.30? They, we have to be going What's here. What's the rush, funny face? Well, I got to put on that clown makeup and that can't be done in no hurry, you know. That. Okay, run along. We'll excuse you. Sure, Daddy Herman. You mustn't be late. Well, baby, oh, But you... I'll take care of the little girl. I got to know her yet. Oh, I know, but I don't want to. I, I'm afraid... Of... Nancy, I, I think you better come along with me, honey. Oh, listen, don't be an old grandpa. I'll see that she gets back all right. Yes, I'll be all right. You... You don't want to go back with me? You want to stay here? Well, I'm having a grand time. Oh. Oh, well, well, I got to be going. Well. I had a good dinner. I was all right, thank you. It was good. I liked it, even, even if the ham and eggs did get a little mixed up with the fooey. <laughs> it was, it was good, and thank you. Well. <laughs> I'll be going now. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you in jail. You... You see me in jail? What you mean? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you were joking. <laughs> you was making up jokes. I cut you now. <laughs> well, so long. <laughs> see you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a left he is. She was always with him. I think she fell in love with him the first time she saw him. I tried to tell her what kind of a man I thought he was, but I was afraid. I was afraid to say too much because then she might guess that that I was in love with her myself. <laughs> Me, a clown. I didn't want that. And then, then one night we was packing up, getting ready to go to the next town. You see, the circus was getting ready to move, and he didn't have nothing to pack, or but just that little zilly little ukulele he used to play on, nothing else but that. And while I was king, she or him, they went, walking through the village. Mm -hmm. Came five o'clock in the morning, and she and him, they don't come. And the circus train was ready to leave, to go to the next town, and, and still they don't come. I jumped off the train and I went looking for them. And I searched and I looked, and I looked for days and until I was I was nearly crazy. I didn't know what I was doing. And then I, I read it was in the paper. It said a little girl was found in a river. She was drowned. And her name was Nancy. Nancy. And she had a note. And it was in her little hand. It was held tight. Nobody could take it. And the note was wet and soaked, and it and then said, "Of you, of you, after what? Forgive me. Forgive me." I guess I, I know you can guess what happened. What happened? He was. What was one girl to him? More or less, it meant nothing. One girl. He killed her. He killed her just the same as if he'd take her neck in his hands and choke her to death. He killed her. He killed that little girl, Nancy, my neck. He killed her just the same as if he'd take a knife and he'd stick it in her heart. He killed her. He killed 
then the Well, that's the little story I wanted you to hear. Gee, that was pretty tough, but all right. Poor soul, I know just how he feels. Yes, so do I. But it has nothing to do with this trial. Yes, it's a sad story, and we're all very sympathetic. But it has nothing to do with this case. Come on, let's take that last ballot. It's got a lot to do with it. Say, you're not going to be stubborn now after your promise. Well, it's got a lot to do with it. That man, that man, Wallace, that man that, that was responsible for Nancy drowning herself, that's the same man that was murdered in this case here. Don't you understand? Well, uh, what do you think of that? The same man. Well, that is a coincidence. So why didn't you tell us this in the first place? Now I can see why you felt sorry for that boy in there. And I don't blame you. But that's your trouble. It has no bearing on this case. Absolutely none. The law has no sentiment. Come on, let's take the vote and get out of here. All right. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That boy is not guilty. He didn't kill Wallace. Uh, now we're right back to where we started from. I, I tell you, he didn't kill him. He didn't because I know who did. All rats, come on and vote. I'll tell you how I know. Because... Come on and vote, you fool. Because I kill Wallace myself. What was that you said? I said I killed him. It was me. I killed Wallace and I would do it again. You shot him. He admits it. Don't interrupt. Go on, tell us. Well, after Nancy was buried, I went and I searched for that Wallace. I looked all over just to try to find him. Through a booking office, they told me where he was. He was playing in a little theater. He was under assumed name, Roderick the Great. I went to the theater and I hide in the alley. And I look for him, I wait till he comes in the theater. And then when he comes, I follow him in. And when he goes to the dressing room, I follow him in there too. He don't see me. He don't know that I was in there. And, well, I guess at first they didn't know where the shot came from. And I was me, I sneaked out. And I sneaked across just in time before somebody come in. I guess maybe it was that boy. He come in, you see. I got out and nobody even noticed me. That's circumstantial evidence, you see. <laughs> I'll say evidence. you had a lot of nerve. You sure had. So now, now you all know the story about the funny clown. Why don't you laugh? It's <laughs> funny. The funny old clown. Laugh at the funny joke. You can all be out of here and go. You all have Merry Christmas. There's nothing to be glum about. You can go out. Why don't you laugh? <laughs> they can't do nothing to me. But hang me, can they? Where are you going? I'm going out there in the courtroom and take that boy's place. Wait a minute. We're here to judge whether that boy in there is he or not. I guess we all know about that now. Certainly yes, do. Please. Then let's take our vote. How many of you think the defendant is guilty? Sure, I don't believe he'll see. I know he isn't.
Notify the court the jury has arrived at a verdict. Very well. One pound. I'm ready. When we came in here, we were all sworn on oath not to reveal by word or deed anything that happened in this room. Is that right? That's right. Will we all remember to keep that promise? The court awaits the jury. All right, everybody. You're all right, Brown. Thank you. Oh, I enjoyed every minute of it. Well, I I wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, funny face, I'll never forget you. It's going to be a Merry Christmas for that boy and, and the girl. You know that? Well, let's cram. The prisoner will stand and look upon the jury. The jury will stand and look upon the prisoner. Have you agreed upon a verdict? We have. What say you? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Bobby! Oh, Bobby! Oh, my darling! Honey, I... I... Paper, get your paper here. Get your paper. 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 Get your paper.